quick spoiler, loads of flies, obviously, we've done 400 miles. Uh, the wife called me an idiot, I keep saying 1,000. <laughs> BMW did really, really well. Comfortable, we did 100 mile segments, and uh, I've got to say, it's brilliant. We get to meet Steve with his NC750X, I keep calling it NX, oh, no. Anyway, it's a clutchless bike, called it many other things, I don't know why I keep calling it during the video, I keep calling it everything else, but it's not a bad little bike, really, 18 plate. And we get to see us riding home, a little bit of a chat, worth the watch, enjoy. Hi, welcome to my channel, Mark Savage here, and another 1,000 epic mile journey. 300 miles. Better than last time, 100. We are going to the far reaches across England. We're going to Bristol. Anyway, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, BMW 1200 GS time. Fully loaded up in the boot. I've got all my emergency pack, which is the tire inflator, tire repairer, and battery charger, and so on. So we will be ready. We're we'll stopping Reading about 100 and odd miles away, an hour and a half. We're gonna get going. It is raining outside. It wasn't supposed to be, so we're sort of gonna get a little bit damp moving out of where we live, and then hopefully get on with it. Next time you see us in Reading, let's go. Been very good so far. Um, very comfortable, 100 miles. Said I can do 97 more. I've got a debate whether to fill up or not. 81 miles, I think I might fill up. Until I saw one pound 38 a litre. It's like 18p more a litre than anywhere else. Anyway, so far so good. Wife behind the uh, camera, how'd you feel? Okay. That's an okay, nodding, like normal. Gonna get some grub, then we're gonna get back on the road to uh, Bristol. So, epic so far. I did use the running lights on the old M25, thought it'd be more safer. Um, still enjoyable though, turn the switch off. They worked very well. So far so good. Well, we made our epic journey and we're here with Dervman. Hi guys. He's a fellow YouTuber. Got to his house, guess what he's got? A Honda 750. Automatic, look at this, no clutch. So, I'm gonna ask him, what's it like to ride? What's it like to ride, Dervman? Fantastic, really relaxed, nice and talky. No Break. wheelies though. No wheelies, brake horsepower? 50. Is that all right with this? Plenty, yeah. The DCT makes up for it. Now, something he did show me, because when you first look at this bike, you don't realize, is this isn't a petrol tank. This is storage. Look at that. We very much remind you of a ped. A DNAs do the same where you put your helmet under here, but that's a big old space under there. You can't look that. And wait for it, petrol. That's clever. It does remind me of a ped, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Petrol under the rear seat. Nice bit of storage. And here we go for the ignition. Comes up with his name. Now we know his name. He's not just called Dervman. He's called... <laughs> Steve! <laughs> <laughs> nice little look around it. Doesn't look too bad at all actually. It's a 2018 model. Keep the shush plate out. Nice chunky exhaust. The NC750. And is that an X? Yes. There we go. That's not a bad looking bike. So only 50 brake horsepower, and that's not a lot if I'm honest with you, a 750. No, it's not. No. But very talky, he's saying. Not a bad looking front to the bike, to be honest with you. Yeah. LED light. Oh, so all LEDs as well? Yeah, yeah, the headlight, yeah. So indicators aren't LEDs, but the headlight is LED. Rear light as well, LED? Yep. Nice dash with his name on it. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's optional extras, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad at all. Yeah. Yep, yeah. we're running 17 inch wheel, single disc at the front, and the 17 rear, and again, wavy disc. Surprised actually, we haven't been a CVT engine, I expected it to be belt or something, but it's not, it's chain driven. Steve, how many miles have you got on this so far then? 600. 600 miles? That'll be a first service tomorrow. Yep. How much first service going to cost you? 100 quid, because they quoted me the wrong price. <laughs> I was say, that's bloody cheap, isn't it? I did the BMW first service, it was 170 pounds for an oil change. So, uh, under service, that's not bad at all, is it? No. Anyway, there we go. Seen around Steve's house, what do it, man? Had a cup of tea. I even looked in his shed, he's got a much better shed than me. <laughs> I do need to sort my shed out. Tiny shed looks bigger than the camera, but he's got a hand built shed, and I can't knock that at all. Anyway, not a bad bike. I said it was 300 miles this morning, but it's actually been 193 miles. Started to panic a little bit on the old petrol. So, I did start to panic a little bit. Had 19 miles left on here, and I weren't quite sure where his house was. So, we come to a really big 
the hill going down. So I pulled the clutch in about a mile <laughs> coasting. That was really good. Um, I only put 17 litres in it. I only ever seem to put 17 litres and they stayed at 21 litres. Um, I'm sure that's wrong. Um, I filled up and it said 167 miles. It's a bit of a bugger to be honest with you. You do rely on it. Um, Dirk man, or Steve, has given me a sat nav bracket, which will actually come up to here, which would be much, much better. I had the sat nav here, and to be honest with you, I really couldn't see the damn thing. So the sat nav bracket here should be good. And he's given me a nice set of LED lights. So we'll be able to uh, fit them. I'll do a video of them fitting as well. And better still, he's given me a GS911. That may sound like some sort of a Porsche, but it's not. It's the reset tool and diagnostics tool for this. That video will be coming up soon because my service light came on. And as you know, recently I did the service. So I don't need the light coming on telling me I've already done it. So that'll be the next video coming up from me and Steve. So far, thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, let's carry on when we get a bit further down the road. I think we're going to go bar for the wife. Right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Well, we've just got back from our 1,000 mile epic journey. For the last time, 400 miles, you stupid idiot. 400 miles. Anyway, we stopped in Reading, 100 miles, carried on to Bristol. We met Steve, or Derv Man. I like that one. Nice fella. Built his own shed, better than my little thing. Anyway, give me some goodies for the next video. The GS911. This little tool has diagnostics and service reset. My service light's on. Watch the last video, you know I did a service on it anyway. So under here, it's a non-liquid cord, so it's the air cord one. Brilliant. And our video, well, HID upgrade lights. These are 35 watt. They can mess around with the system on here. You've got 55 watt bulbs. These are 35, sometimes you may get an error. He was getting that, but we'll have a look and see what we can do. And uh, front off basically, so only two screws two little tabs come out, front light comes out. So we're gonna do that on the next video. Hunk of metal, what's it for? Mm. Some of you noticed my sat nav's here. It was rubbish. Uh, cars driving, they were here could see it. I couldn't see a bugger all. This little gadget goes in here and enables a sat nav to go on there. Thank you, Derv man. We got to see Steve's Honda NX750. 50 bhp, about a 14 litre tank, which you see was in the rear here, which is odd. No, no clutch or anything else, but he can go up and down on the gears. He loves it, it's very light, all LED upgrades. He did have a nice camera though, front and rear recording, and it was sat underneath where the petrol tank was, he put it in there, so that's a very clever little gadget there. We didn't do it in the video, because we only spoke about it afterwards. But um, yes, I, I don't think I'd get on with it, he seems to love it. Um, done 600 miles um, on it, so it's ready for the first service. Um, and he loves it, so what more can you say? Well done Steve, it's nice seeing you and your family and uh, you got to see us. <laughs> Bonus? I don't know. Anyway, so check out my videos, check out the ones on this one, on servicing, on my 16 plate, many other BMW videos as well I've done, on the exhaust as well. Just a few up and coming videos will be the service tool and how to reset, that should be easy really. And it will be a HID upgrade from the ordinary lights where to place them. And I've still got the horn, so I'll do the horn and the headlights all in one. And of course, I might as well put the sat nav on there as well while we put the bar on there, but that's pretty simple. Right, please like, share, and subscribe.